Hey everybody, it's your girl D here, and I just wanted to show you very, 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 very quick where the ABs go. Now our ABs are numbers one, two, and three. So I have a feeling I know where they're going to go. First AB, I'm gonna zoom in here to his eyes because I see one AB, which is number three in his eyes, that blue. I also see number three right here around his suit in, on his body. So there's some sprinkled there, some sprinkled there and there. So they're all over like the blue part of him. They're sprinkled in there. So the other AB, I'm gonna go over here cause I see ones and two on the S on the back of his, on his cape right here. There's one, two and three, there's ABs there. There's also ABs on the S on his chest. There's one and two. There's ABs all in that yellow part. All that yellow, that's all ABs. And also in his belt, there are some ABs. There are some ones there, ones and twos around here. And yeah, that's where all the ABs are. So they're sprinkled all over the blue part of his suit in his belt, in the gold part or the yellow part of the S on his chest. And this gold or yellow part here, this yellow part, the S on his cape. That's where all the ABs are. So I just wanted to come on really quick just to show you that really, really fast. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to start on this now. I'm going to kit down the last one that I did, kit up this one. Again, I don't know when this video is going to go up. I apologize for the lack of, if, I, if I'm like MIA for a minute. But like I said, I can't post anything because I don't want him to see this until it's revealed. So the next time you see me, this canvas will be finished. I'll be showing you and I'll tell you my experience with it, how the drills were, and all that fun stuff. Once again, guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, do all the things. Tell me what you're working on. I'm interested. Do you like superheroes? Because I like superheroes. I have a lot of favorites. Batman's one that I love. I'm going to do, I think I have a Batman canvas I want to do next. I'm in a superhero mood right now. So let me know what, what you're working on down below in the comments. All right. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, I am back again. Hello, hello. So we're going to get into the drills and we're going to get into the toolkit of this canvas here that I'm working on for my friend. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell him. He has no idea it's coming. <laughs> He's going to be surprised. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. This is what the image looks like right there. And we're about to get into the drills. I wanted to show you this too. Look, y'all, this right here. That is the vase with poppies and daisies from Van Gogh. Y'all know I had to put that one up. I just wanted to show that off because it's gorgeous. I want to get a frame for that one because it's really pretty. Next to that one is golden, the one that I did earlier this year. So I just wanted to show you all that, show off my artwork. All right, let's get into the drills. Now, when you get your canvas, and I hope everybody can see this, uh, your drills come like this. You have the name of the canvas on your bundle of drills. And the reason why they do that is because some people like to store their canvases separate from the drills. If you are one that likes to do that, I like that Diamond Art Club puts the drills, they bundle them like this. So you can easily store them in your craft drawer or wherever until you are ready to use uh, and to, fit, to start your canvas. I think that's a really good idea too. Some people keep boxes. I don't know. I'm like a guy. I keep all of my boxes. Like when I like when I had my video game consoles, like my Xbox, my PlayStation, my every GameCube, Game Boy, every I kept all my boxes. When I buy TVs, I keep my boxes. <laughs> I'm like a man. I thought I was the only person that does that, but men do that a lot. So I apologize for the, um, move this stuff out the way. Oh, before I get into the drills though, let me get into the toolkit as promised. Now, your toolkit, what you're going to get in the toolkit are the following things. The first thing that you're going to get is your wax. You're going to get two of these heart-shaped waxes that look like this. 
and you get them in the container so it doesn't dry out. You use the wax to um, to stick, to, to load your pen inside of it, or you put the wax in the pen, and then you pick up the drills with your pen, and you place the drills on the canvas. That's it right there, Deshonda. There you go. Speaking of pen, this is the pen right here. So it comes with a pen. And it also comes with a squishy. So this is cute. So I just put the squishy. Let's just do that now. Put that squishy right on that pen. Bingo bangos. Just like that, right? You also get two multi-placers. These are multi-placers for multi-placing your drills. You have a seven and I believe this is a four. And your multi-placers, they go right at the top of your pen like so. So you can dip, again, you can dip the wax from here into, dip your pen in the wax and multi-place your drills. You also get this tray right here, which is very nice. This tray with a stopper. It has a spout on the end of it so you can, like, you know, pour your drills back into your container. You have the spout. So when you are doing the shake, 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 you don't have drills flying everywhere. So you get that. You also get baggies. These bad boys are so helpful. I love getting baggies because I am a person who saves my drills on every canvas because I think I've told this story a lot of times. When I did my very first Diamond Art Club uh, painting, um, which was... Um, rainbow flowers or something i forget what the name of it is it's the run with the rainbow flowers i ran out of a color and i had and now diamond art club if you run out of a color diamond art club will send you the color that you're missing or that you have you don't you don't have enough of you know so that was very nice of them but i told myself i will never run out of drills so i keep all my drills i do keep them some people don't some people throw them away some people use them for other projects there's a lot you could do with them really so i don't throw my drills away i really don't i keep them just in case i run out of a color so i keep them in these baggies and then i store them away you also get tweezers and look these are the pink tweezers and they're branded you can probably see that they say diamond art club right there they come with a sheath, the sheath, <laughs> because these bad boys are sharp. You see that? They are sharp. Do not poke a hole in your canvas, ladies and gentlemen, when using these. You could poke somebody's eye out, kid, with this, man. They are very, very sharp, okay? So that's why I like to keep them sheath. I love that. Oh, by the way, when the only time you get tweezers is with a square kit from Diamond Art Club. Otherwise, if you have a round canvas, you don't get any tweezers. And with these tweezers, too, a lot of people like to multi like to place their um, they use these for placing their A B drills. They will pick up an A B drill and they will place it. I don't tweeze my A B drills. I probably should tweeze them, but I don't tweeze them. Um, and then you also get washi tape. This is a very nice washi tape, and I think it goes well with the theme of the uh of the canvas i like this here it's kind of foiled and then finally you get this is my cover minder now this cover minder reminds me of the rocks <laughs> it reminds me of the rocks in the canvas see like look here like see all these rocks around here these boulders that's what that reminds me of so that's really pretty and it's glitter and i like glitter so so again, that's everything that is inside of the toolkit. I'm just putting everything back inside of here right quick. All righty. Now, let's move on to the drills. 31 colors to get through. I apologize, first of all, for the wrinkly, crinkly paper that's happening right now. Stick that over there. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. We are gonna go through some drills, y'all. All right. Let's get situated. Let's start with this little baby, baby one. All right. So we have nine nine five, which is this gorgeous blue color. Thirty seven ninety nine is this one. This one is. 148 no 841 it's backwards 841 that's one bag of 841 that's two bags of 841 
that's three bags of 841. Again, I'm going to assume that those are the boulders and everything like that. And next strip we have, let me get it the right way first of all. Here we go. I'm like fumbling through here. We have here 352. There's a little bit of that one. That's probably a skin tone right there. That's 435. This one is my one of my favorite colors, 666. I want to get a little bit of that one though. This one is 38.57. This one is 9.48. This is an AB. This is 131. It's a yellow AB. And I, I just, I forgot to show y'all where the air, where the AB goes in the drills. I need to show you where the ABs go in the canvas. But yeah, 131. This one is 318. This one is 3778. Three, seven, seven, Another AB, 130. This is that beautiful yellow AB. That's gorgeous. We have here 754 and 356. Yep. And 741. And 3841. 317 was that one. This is 839. 839. 3849. I'm sorry, 3846. My bad. 3846. This one is 498. 498. This one is 817. That's a gorgeous color. These two colors are gorgeous right here. Red's my favorite color. This one is 2814. And then we have here a 995. Okay, that's another bag of 995. And then I've got, this is the last strip. This one here. Let me start it this way. Our last and final AB, which is 138. That's a gorgeous blue AB. We have a 3895, no, 3865. Here's another bag of 3865, so two bags of the white. This is 938. Yep, 938. This is 3033. Again, that looks like one of those bolder rock colors. This is definitely one of them. This 940 or 640, I'm sorry, 640. Excuse me, another bag of 640. 3371. I'm starting to like this color too. This is that black brown color. It's not black. It's like a blackish brown. Here's another 3371. That's two bags of 3371. That's three bags of 3371. This is 3787. That's definitely one of those rock boulder colors. Here's another bag of 3787. And we have 310. One, two, three. Four, five, six bags of 310. And then we have seven, 3782 and another 3782. So that there is all of the drills. That's all the drills that are in the canvas. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back one more time to show you where the AB drills go in this canvas. So I'll be right back. Hello everyone, it's your girl D here, back again with another video. If you are brand new to my channel, I would like to say thank you for stopping by my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and do all the fun things. I appreciate you. And for those of you who are not new to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your continued support. I appreciate you as well. Leave a comment, rate the video, like the video, share the video, do all the fun things. Now, I don't know 
when you're going to see this video. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, today is the 21st of April, 2024. And this is the next canvas that I am doing. But shh, this is a secret. This is for my friend. He has no idea this is coming. This canvas was next in rotation um, that I wanted to finish for this year of 2024. And it's time for me to do it right now. So I don't know when you're going to get this. My, my friend, he follows me on all platforms of social media. So I won't be able to post anything like updates like I usually do or anything like that. I can't do that because... He's going to see it and I want this to be a surprise. I don't want him to see it. So yeah, I apologize. I might be in my A for about a month. And if I am, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But like I said, I don't want to, um, I don't want to reveal my secret as of yet. But however, I will say this, by the time you are watching this video, this canvas is finished. It's done. It is completed. It has been shipped off to my friend. I've sent it to him. It's in his hands right now. He's, he has it. So uh, stay tuned for the next video after this one that shows my completion. Okay? Just to put you out. Just to let you all know. All right. Enough of all that small talk. By the way, I did two canvases last year for my friend that were Superman themed. He loves Superman. Loves, 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 loves Superman. He has an amazing, immaculate collection of memorabilia that is just out of this world amazing. Like for it looks like the super his house looks like the Superman Museum. I kid you not. It's it's really, really cool, actually. It really is. But I digress. This is for my friend. It is Superman, of course. And the name of this canvas <clears throat> is called The Stronger Than You Think You Are. The dimensions are 22 inches by 26 inches or 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. This is a square diamond painting. Now, I'm not sure who the artist is of this canvas, but I will point out, it says down here, Superman and all related characters and elements are copywritten and, I'm sorry, are trademark, copywritten and trademarked uh, from DC Comics, S22. I'm not sure what that S22 means, but I don't know who the artist is of this canvas. Um, Diamond Art Club has many different licensing agreements with different um companies like warner brothers nickelodeon um dc comics just to name a few and because whatever is in the contract of that licensing uh diamond art club cannot release the artist's name of who the artist is it, it has something to do with that license um so i don't know who the artist is of this canvas that you are staring at right now my friend probably knows because uh, the last one that I did for him, Truth and Justice, that one came from a comic book. And he told me the comic book it came from and the name of the artist. I'm going to assume that this image that you're looking at right here, this one is also from a comic book. Now, again, my comic book knowledge is not as great as some of my other nerdy knowledge is. Like, you know, manga, anime, K-pop, J-pop, all that stuff. I can spit that stuff out till the cows come home. But um, my comic book knowledge, I like comic books. I think comic books are cool. I have friends that are in the comic books. I've visited many comic book stores. I always participate on comic book day may 1st but my comic book knowledge is is not that great like i cannot tell you what volume i cannot tell you what happened in volume number seven issue 47 of batman i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know but my friend will but my friend knows if this is from a comic book and i think it is he will be able to tell me what issue what volume and who the artist is Okay, so enough on that. Um, this is the canvas, what it looks like right here. This canvas is a square canvas, which is awesome because 
That means the details are going to really, really pop out. That is so cool. And also, there are a whopping 31 colors, as you can see in this canvas. And there are three ABs. You see that one, two, and three up there? Those are three ABs. So, yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. I like this. And you know what? This canvas is not as big as I thought it was. For some reason, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought this canvas was going to be massive, huge, just like um, Truth and Justice was. Because Truth and Justice couldn't fit on my table. And that was a big canvas. And that took me about, with work and everything and I had going on, it took me about two or three months to do that one. And I also did the Mandy Manzano one also, the Mandy Manzano panel of Superman. But anyway, I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'm sorry. This video might be a little bit long. If y'all don't like long videos, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to talk my way through this one because this is for my friend and we we go we going to get into it. We going to get into it, okay? Now, when you get your canvas from Diamond Art Club, it comes in this beautiful box. This is the box right here that this canvas came in and I love the holographic on this box I love that it shows you what the art piece looks like finished um, by the way just here it tells you the dimensions and the title of the canvas again I wish I knew who the artist was but um, so I can give credit because I like to give credit where credit is due love that picture so in the artwork this canvas artwork is wrapped all around this box also tells you how to diamond paint there's also a little piece of paper in here that tells you how to diamond paint love that image also and yep that is what the canvas looks like there tells you how many colors how many ab's yada 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 and again this is the this this box is an art piece within itself and i told my friend last time i did one of these for him i said make sure you keep the art keep the box keep the box because the box is um it's a, it's it's very pretty i love the, the holographic in it um this canvas by the way let me set that down here right quick this canvas by the way is still available at this filming of this video that canvas is still available with diamond art club if you want to get your hands on it um let me just uh, step back a minute. I love this canvas. I have no idea what's going on, but he is breaking through. Yes, you can see our our hero here is breaking through these boulders. That is awesome. I'm glad it's the size that it is, though. This is the perfect size. I should be able to finish this in no time, but I love this. Love, love, love this. Love this so much. Um, he's stronger than he think he than he thinks he is. And uh, I'm not sure what he's overcoming, like I said, but I would like to know the backstory behind this. Um, moving forward, you get the box, right? You get your canvas. In your canvas, you get this little sticker right here. Tells you the title and the dimensions. And it's a square shape. You can put this sticker in your logbook. You can put this sticker. You can make a cover minder out of it. You can put it on your box wherever you like. And then you also get this right here. This is the bigger sticker right here with all these um, these numbers here. These are all stickers over here to my right where my finger is right here. Those are all stickers. And what I do is I stick, this is from the last kit that I did. You just I just stick the sticker onto the container like so. Because um, these stickers are pre-cut that are here and then you get this really big sticker I like this one because I can put the start and end date on it and there's a big picture of the canvas there with the dimensions and whatnot so you also get these right here these are the drills stronger than you think you are I see a lot of 310 honey 310 is black and I do like a lot of people don't like black but I love black 310 are some of the best drills that Diamond Art Club makes these drills are made in-house. Diamond Art Club makes their own drills and everything. I forget how many facets are on the square drills, but it's a, it's a lot. So it, it makes your canvas really, 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 really sparkle. <clears throat> so 
excuse me, we're going to get into all the, look at the color story. I'm seeing a lot of this color here too, which is probably the color of these boulders that are all around him. And of course you have your red, white, and blue and your black and everything. So yeah, those are the stickers. And you also get, whoa, whoopsie. You also get this tool kit right here. This is what you get inside the tool kit. All this right here. Same old, same old, same old. Not sure if I should go over the contents of the tool kit because it's all the same. I might go over it when I do my, when I go over the drills. I'll go over the contents in detail of the tool kit. But these are the things that you usually get inside of there. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to get into the drills and show you the drills. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set you up front facing so I can show you the drills and get into that right quick. And if you give me a minute, I will be right 